Hi, it's Mike from Health Newswires here with some information about coffee and new research showing that it may actually lower blood sugar and decrease the risk of diabetes. Stay tuned. At the end of this report, I'm going to show you how to access a, a free ebook, uh, 31 pages of information for you to lower blood sugar and decrease uh, your risk of diabetes. So please stay tuned for that. So as you may or may not know, diabetes is one of the most... Um, problematic health issues in the world today. It affects nearly 375 million people around the world. Uh, and there's new research that shows regular consumption of coffee may actually lower uh, a person's risk of developing diabetes. Specifically, information from the Institute for Scientific Information on Coffee indicates that diabetes risk is lowered by up to 25% when three or four cups of coffee are consumed every day. Uh, this is compared to people who consume uh, less than two cups of coffee a day. So other findings from the ISIC indicate that each additional cup beyond the fourth cup of coffee you drink uh, may actually reduce diabetes by up to 8% per cup. And Studies demonstrate conflicting reports about whether you should have regular or decaf coffee. Uh, some reports say that regular coffee and decaf coffee uh, have the same effect. Other reports indicate that um, regular coffee is more effective than decaf in lowering diabetes risk, especially in women. Looking into why coffee affects diabetes, uh, researchers have two different theories that they're, they're focusing on. The first theory uh, supports the use of regular coffee, not decaf, and indicates that the caffeine in the coffee increases metabolism. And what that does is require your body to burn more carbohydrates, which um, lowers your overall blood sugar levels and decreases your risk of diabetes. The second theory is that coffee has naturally occurring chemicals, which improve your body's insulin sensitivity and that also lowers overall blood glucose levels and decreases your risk of developing diabetes, specifically type 2 diabetes. So scientists are still looking at, at why this happens, but it looks like consuming coffee on a regular basis may decrease your, your risk of diabetes. Uh, IC5 is another uh, way you can, can lower blood sugar. The natural ingredients in this product have been shown to lower blood glucose levels and decrease uh, risk of, of diabetes and also uh, burn fat as well. So like I told you in the beginning of, of this broadcast, there's a free uh, book. It's called The Four Sneaky Ways to Lower Your Blood Sugar. It's a lot of great information about foods and exercises you can do to uh, incre increase your insulin sensitivity lower your insulin resistance, and lower your overall blood sugar, which not only decreases your risk of diabetes, it also burns more fat, burns more calories, and helps you lose weight. So take a look at that. It's free. You can click on the screen or actually in the, the description, you'll find a link. Um, but take advantage of that and, and enjoy a cup of coffee while you're reading it. Thanks for listening. This is Mike from Health Newswires.